After this I looked, and behold, a door was open in heaven, and the voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, saying, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, a throne was set in the heaven, and one sat on the throne, and he that sat on was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne, in sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats were four and twenty elders, sitting clothed in white raiment. And they had on their head crowns of gold. And out of the thrones proceeded lightnings and thunders and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of Ahia. And before the throne, there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. And in the midst of the throne, and round about the throne, were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. And the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast was like a calf, and the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Kadash, 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 Allah Hayyam Ahaya, which was and is and is to come and when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne who liveth forever and ever the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crown before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, Ahia, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within, and on the back side sealed with seven seals. And I saw the strong Malak proclaim with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to lose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open the book, to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Yehawadah, the root of Dawad, has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of Ahia, sent forth into all the earth. And he came and he took the book out of the right hand of him that sat on the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odor, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seal thereof, for thou wast slain. And has redeemed us to a higher by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation and has made us unto a higher kings and priests and we shall reign on earth and i beheld and i heard the voice of many malachs round about the throne and the beast and the elders and the numbers of them was 10,000 times, 10,000 and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessings. And every creature which is in heaven and on earth and under the earth and such as in the sea, and all that are in them heard I saying blessing and honor and glory 
and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odour, which are the prayers of the saints. Mm. Let every creature praise him, for he is worthy. Let every creature praise Him, for our Father's worthy. Let every creature praise Him, for our Father's worthy. Let every creature praise Him, for our Father's worthy. Let every creature praise Him, for our Father's worthy. Let every creature praise Him, for our Father's worthy. 
of every nation in the Of every tongue on the earth Let every creature praise Him For our Father's worthy Let every creature praise Him Out of every kindred Let every creature praise Him To receive all the glory. 